Hi everyone! We are going to make a fruit cake today. I got all the fruit and I have lente with me, right? Yes. We start with a watermelon. Look how heavy it is. You know how you can tell that a watermelon is ripe? No. You can knock on it. And mm -hmm. if it sounds hollow, then you know it's ripe. We start by cutting off the top and the bottom of the watermelon. But do you think it's it straight? I think so. A little. So I'm not going to make it really round, but I'm just going to make it like an octagon. <laughs> I think it's perfect. What do you think? And you know the good thing is that you can shape it any way you want. Because it's your cake, so whatever Could you it like. Be a it can even be a heart. Oh, this is a good piece. Cut a honeydew melon and cantaloupe in half. Scoop out the seeds with a spoon and cut them in slices. And now I get cookie cutters. Can I use the small star? Yeah, here. Nice, nice, nice. Wow, look at that. Look at some nice looking stars. Yes. It's very colorful. <laughs> <laughs> so the mango has a has a pit, right? And the pit is is thin and it's white. Okay. I make sure that my fingers are far away and I'm also bending my fingers. So if I slip with the knife or if something happens, then it just touches my finger, but it doesn't cut me. Okay. Yeah, so always bend your fingers when you're cutting. And now with Squares. lines, first lines. You want to try it? Sure. Try it again. And bend your fingers. There are a lot of things to think of. Perfect. Yeah, you're doing good. There. <laughs> there. And then, let me show you. Whoa! <laughs> Doesn't that look pretty? It's like, oh, it looks like a thousand cubes, rectangles. <laughs> a thousand mangoes. Let me tell you a little bit about decorating. There are three things. And this is also if you decorate a cake or even when you make a dinner plate. You always have to remember three things. It's thrill, feel, and spill. So the first thing is thrill. And you can thrill with something big or maybe something really colorful. So I think this piece is already the thrill. Yes. And maybe the mangoes too, because they look so yeah. pretty. And then we need to fill it up. And I think berries are perfect to fill it up. So maybe we can start with the stars okay. and put them in. You first put the stick in and then the star. Oh. That one looks very, very, very like monumental. Monumental. I like that. So, um, blueberries on top? Yes. Should we just scatter them around? Yeah. And you know that? Remember the three things? Thrill, um, spill. Yeah. And fill. Fill, yeah, and this is also when you just scatter them, it's also a spin. Oh, yeah, it's kind of. Yeah, okay, what shall we put around? Um, strawberries? Strawberries, perfect. Oh. Can I also cut one? Yeah, here, let me show you. I got a knife that's not as sharp. So, you first cut off the crown. This is the crown. And you cut that off, just like this, and then you just half it. Okay. Here. You want to put it on here? There. Perfect. What about mango? This is right. Yeah. What do you think? This looks so good. Doesn't it? Oh, you know what? Mint. Oh yeah, should we do that? So you just get the leaves, you stack them all together. 
And remember what I said about your fingers? Yes, they always have to bend. And even when your fingers are bent, keep them away from the blade. So they go really fast. You can also place them on top of the knife, away from the sharp edge. You want to try it, Brooke? Yes, please. Okay. Perfect. You did it. Professional cooker. A professional cooker and cutter. <laughs> you want to mix them? We put them right in the middle. Okay. Thank you. Do you yeah. Love me? No, you're doing well. Sure. Right there. Right there. Perfect. Beautiful lensings for helping me. Brought to you by Dinarella Kids Mouse.